Employees of a Suffolk business say they haven't been paid for weeks, and they called 10 on your side for help. The owner of the business then called the police on our Stephanie Harris, and she demanded some answers. Stephanie, what happened? Bobby, I'll show you our whole thing in just a moment. First, let me catch you up on why we were there. Now, this right here is a caring hand home health care. Employees called us out to the business on Tuesday. They hadn't been paid, they said, for three weeks, and the doors were locked. We want our pay. We need to get paid. It's been three weeks. I'm about to be evicted. My lights are about to be turned off. Employees are out of patience. I got a rejection stick on my car that I need to get off because I ain't got no money. And that means she can't get to her patient, who's been forced to find home care elsewhere. The door is locked at a caring hand, and the owner isn't answering her phone or email. I don't know what's going on. Miss Janice Holland is the, supposed to be the CEO of this company, along with her husband, Troy Holland. Ted on your side did some digging. I found the Hollands do have an active license for this business in Suffolk, which may or may not be under federal investigation. A spokesperson confirmed the FBI was at the business about three weeks ago, but won't say any more. A background check confirmed Troy Holland is a convicted felon, recently released from jail on cocaine charges. It appears Janice Holland owes nearly half a million dollars to the IRS and others, but lives in this large home in an upscale neighborhood. That's where I went looking for answers. Janice! Minutes later, the police showed up looking for me. Well, apparently she's called the apartment. I guess on you guys knocking on the door. So let me go up here and talk to her and see what's going on. Exactly. Okay. Thank you very much. We told the officer about the Holland's employees and waited. Did you ask them about the employees? I didn't want to get involved in all that and just asked them why, why they call why they call because you guys are on the property. They said this time they want to speak to you all. So. Then the craziest thing doing? happened. Are you Troy? Yes, I'm Troy. You're Troy. I'm Stephanie. Basically what we're trying to do, we're trying to get the payroll right. We don't, um... Uh, we went on Medicaid to make sure that everything goes through straight. He refused to answer any questions. This business has yeah. been running for years, several right. years. So what's but, changed? What's different? Um, I would not go into that without a uh, lawyer or anything like that. He said they will try to make sure employees get paid and thanked them for their patience. Right now, I have no more uh, ounce. Thank you very much for coming out here. Appreciate y'all. Y'all have a blessed day. Well, Janice never came out or explained why they called police. I put in a call to Medicaid. I've not heard back from them. We will stay on top of this story. Stephanie Harris, 10 on your side.